Hey! Hey! Get out of there! You've been in there for over an hour! I gotta go. Do you know how serious it is when an elephant has to go? Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to go out in the field. Welcome back to some Tembo, the badass elephant. I'm the Comic Foil, and, um, yeah, we're ready to take on the second Phantom Dome. I have to constantly remind myself that that's what they're actually called, Phantom. I just want to call them Skull Heads. Okay, this one's looking pretty scary. Previously, we were, like, out in space, practically, and then I had to do... Well, we went up a mountain, and then we were high up in space. There's grass here, what? And then I had to redo a whole bunch of levels over again. Okay, can I... Can I, like, water these little saplings here? Yes, I can, and it grows into peanut flowers. Okay. All right. I'm into that. It's been a while since I've played this, actually. Um, since I recorded this. It's been a while since I've recorded anything. Um, I think I did a little bit of extra... Um, going back to the old levels. Oh, okay. Floor is rising up. Um, I killed some more phantom soldiers in the other levels just so that I wouldn't have to replay as much later on. Okay, this place has slightly better defenses, but it's been a while since I've recorded anything just because I have been sick as a dog. Sick as... I don't know. Not as sick as an elephant because elephants are quite cleanly beings, but so are most dogs, you know, if they're well. I've been sick as a sick elephant. Last thing I recorded, I think, was those episodes of XCOM where I'm where I'm pretty sick. So I have to get used to this again. I'm taking copious damage. Can I hit that? Good. Good, because I wanna get up there. Gotta time this right because there's a cannon in the way. But yeah, uh first episode of Tembo came out, which is great. Um Yeah, I'll get rid of that first, and then I can water that and jump up. Wait, jump, jump up. No, I did it wrong. Ah. I don't like that at all. We're restarting this. We're restarting this, John. Okay, so here's what I have to do. I need to get up on the cabin first, which puts me in danger of that cannon, which I didn't think would swivel. It's okay. It's okay. Timing worked out for me there. Okay, all right, we're back. Um... Yeah, the first episode of Tembo has gone out. It got some pretty decent reception. It'll probably fall off in a little bit because that's just what tends to happen with new Let's Plays. A lot of people watch the first episode and then and then it kind of quiets down. Um, but also that's just kind of how this game is. Like once, I think this ga game's kind of like relying on the shock of like the initial concept and then it doesn't really add too much craziness afterwards. At least that's not that's not what I've experienced so far. Um, after the first world, the second world didn't really have that much new to offer as far as, you know, silliness and being an elephant. But I don't know, maybe it'll surprise me. If it can give me, if it could give me, like, a gun, like some kind of... Not, not that I'm, like, a gun-crazy guy, but if it gave me some kind of projectile weapon, I feel like that would be interesting for this game and really change up the gameplay and work with the whole him being a Rambo elephant thing. I looked it up, actually. Um, I looked at this on Wikipedia, and this game, when it was in development, was originally being called Rambo the Elephant, but they weren't able to call it that for for obvious reasons. It would have been a little too on the nose. But also, Tembo sounds like more of an elephant name. Just barely got out of there in time. Okay, that's gonna explode in a second. There we go. I remembered those. And this looks water activated. Good, good, good. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the reception of the first episode. Laser cannons now. Uh, Ginger K's gave me a lot of great information about elephants. Um, including that this must be an Indian elephant because of his ears, and that would make a lot of sense. Uh, closer to Vietnam, which is the kind of which is the kind of imagery I think the game was going for. Um, and also, apparently, Indian elephants are easier to train and domesticate, so it would be appropriate. Um, but also, somebody else pointed out... Oh, I can't remember which one of you guys it was. Um, I want to credit you properly, so I'll put your comment up on the screen here. But, um, pointed out that elephants can't jump. 
which is true. I, I, I knew that, but I had forgotten it, and that makes this a really ironic character for a mascot platformer. Uh, they are the only land mammals, I believe, that cannot jump. Oh, we missed a... We missed a civilian at some point, but... At this point, I don't really want to go back for them now. We're too... We're too... We're too deep. We're in too deep. You're in too deep, Tembo. You gotta get yourself out of there. Okay. Yep. Give me your... I know I've said this before, but this game reminds me a lot of Beautiful Joe. Partly by the music and, like, how the enemies are, and I guess because you're fighting helicopters and you fight a lot of he helicopters in the early levels of Beautiful Joe. I never finished Beautiful Joe. I've, like, started to play it several times, then always given up on it. Oh, I didn't think it would hurt me. I knew they punched, but I didn't think I would be hurt. Okay, we gotta go over there, though. So, the name of the game is going to be Shoot Water, Get Out of the Way. I did not get out of the way fast enough. I've known that for a little while now, that Elephants are the only land mammals that can't jump, but that surprises me. Like, walruses can jump? Really? H how? How do they do that? Okay, so... Ah, uh, no, that's not good enough. Okay, gonna have to do it again. Hang around the water cooler. Talk about the last episode of 24 or whatever. That's what people do around water coolers, right? And... Hit and jump. And I think this is the way I'm supposed to go, because there was a checkpoint over there. Man, I wish I didn't miss that one civilian. But uh, speaking of Rambo, so recently I learned a little bit about the book uh, First Blood, which was turned into the first Rambo movie. Um, shout out to one of my favorite channels right now. Um, oh, these two doors work on the same thing. Oh, no they don't. No they don't. Oh, this is going to be quite the puzzle here. I'm going to need a lot of water. Okay, let's open this as far as we can. Get water and run through. Um, yeah, shout out to one of my favorite YouTube channels right now, um, The Dom, who does the show Lost in Adaptation. And, oh... Shoot, messed it up, messed it up. Get under there. No! Uh, yes! Oh, those drop kicks. Um, yeah, he recently did one on First Blood. And, as you know, that was the first movie with, um, Sylvester Stallone as John Rambo in it. And that got turned into, eventually there was a sequel just called Rambo. Um, subtitled First Blood Part 2, and then the third one was Rambo 3, and then the fourth one was John Rambo. So, that that's some naming conventions for you there. Gotta get up, gotta get up. Um, but just kind of interesting how, you know, they called this Rambo the Elephant because, you know, it's Rambo and he's so violent and everything, but like, if you look at the original First Blood, Rambo isn't all that violent. Um... Ah, those are insta-kills, and I messed up. I didn't see the little plant I could use as a trampoline, so I thought I had to use the blocks to get up. Okay, alright. We can get back there pretty quick. Um, but then if you look at the book, First Blood, um, John Rambo is really, really overzealously violent, like, from the very beginning. So, like, it's almost as if John Rambo... It, ah, floor. Didn't realize floor. Okay, let's try this one more time. Um, it's almost as if the movies Rambo and Rambo 3 and John Rambo are more like sequels to the book than the movie, except there can't be a sequel to the book, because, spoilers, John Rambo dies at the end of the first book, and there were never any sequels to the book, because he was dead. Um, and if you're wondering how that relates to Tembo, well... I mean, just look at him. I don't know. You run out of things to talk about sometimes when you're playing a game about elephants. But there's so much to talk about with elephants. I love elephants. Um, I'd really like this guy to help out in the continuing war against ivory hunters, because sadly elephants get 
poached a lot for their ivory, and that sucks. So I think Tembo should poach them. That would make a good sequel idea. I thought that guy was going to get crushed by the platform there, but nope. Maybe I need to try not to get crushed. All the little guys, like, pound their fists after they hit the ground. Like, right before they die, they go like, no! Um... Yeah, and if we head over here then, and get that big peanut... Okay, we somehow managed to miss 40 guys. How do we do that? How do we miss 40 whole guys? Well, everybody seems pretty happy, so... What is Phantom doing with them, taking them back to their drones? Are they going to, I don't know, turn them into cyborgs? Cyborg warriors? Cyborg ninjas? Well, I think we're ready for a boss here. Um, yeah, I have to show you how good of a progress I made. That clown, he's still there. Uh... Okay, so, not these ones, but this one I managed to get all but two, and I got all the people... And, yeah, World world 1, Zone 1, I should say, I did really well on. I went back and I completed a lot of it. Um, I need, I just need a bunch more Phantoms here, actually. I cannot find them. But, yeah, the Hornet Bomber. Time for a boss. What do you got for me? What do you got for me, game? Let's see it. I want another cutscene. I want more cute pictures of Tembo. And I will destroy you to get them. Okay, so it's a drone. You're seeing a lot of, like, drones is like, bad equipment things. That's such a recent thing. But I like it. Okay, making really neat... Re really big trampolines now. And he's got a lot of missiles. That's fine. We can... Oh! Got a little bit unlucky there. Bam! Simple. I like that this is the mechanic that you use to fight the boss, because these trampolines are something that got introduced into the game in this world. Okay, got rid of my flowers. Whoa! Those are some big bee bombs. Big bee bombs. Uh, okay. And you're bringing them back. Good. I don't know how much health you have. Uh, okay, I can't destroy the... It is... Unlikely that I'll be able to dodge all these missiles just by being good, so I need to just, like, hit him as fast as I can, because once I'm up in the air, I do not have enough control over my elephantine body to avoid all of these heat-seeking missiles. Yes! Alright, how many more hits do you need? Like, two, three? Ah, uh, okay. I always like the idea of drawing angry faces on missiles. That It's really funny to me. Oh, and now you got, like, weird gust waves that are actually a lot easier to dodge than the missiles. But that's okay. He's got more missiles. More bee bombs oh, oh! I was already in jump when that appeared to me. Alright, we'll have to try it again. As I squeak on my squeaky chair. When I tried to squeak it on purpose, I couldn't do it. I wanted to make a bunch of annoying squeaky sounds. It didn't work. Get out of the foreground. Are you looking at me? Like, who in world were you doing that to? That's why I always hated, like, 3D movies that, like, just had those, like, weird 3D moments. There's a really big part like that in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and it ticks me off when he, like, first picks up Swooping Evil and, like throws it into the screen. And of course I'm watching it in 2D because I'll always rather watch something in 2D. But I'm like, why are you doing that, Newt? Who are you showing that to? I guess the Kowalski, but like... I don't know, that just kind of seems like a dick move to do to an unsuspecting muggle, let alone an unsuspecting 3D audience. Swooping Evil was weird. That was, that was a, I don't know, that was just kind of a weird que creature. That was more like to give Newt, like, a weird signature weapon to make, like, a kind of animal. Didn't feel like a real animal. It felt like Newt's Indiana Jones whip. Alright. Are you done? Are you done, B-Man? 
Yeah, you got more V-bombs. Oh, man! You gotta be better at dodging those, because those are the easy ones to dodge. Okay, and, uh... See, I'm trying to go fast. Maybe I should not go so fast. Maybe I should wait for him to fire. I should not be up there when I'm trying to dodge those. Ugh! This game is harder than it looks. It really is. It throws a lot of fire at you. Alright, okay. Alright, we get it. If, the, if they made a uh, 3D re-release of Tembo, you would be the star. Also, why does your... Why does your bug machine need those weird grabby claws at the bottom there? I don't understand. I was having trouble actually hitting the trampoline. And... Uh, Okay, you good? You want to stop that soon? Let's get up here. See, like, I can't do anything about that. I'm trampolining. Can't get out of the way of that. Oh, can get out of the way of those, though. Okay, we're doing better this time. Doing better. You want to fire first before I try to get up? There we go. Yeah, he still managed to get me because I was taking too long. All right, okay, all right, B-Man. Are you proud? Are you proud of your accomplishments? Calling home. Hey, Mom, Phantom's going great. They let me drive the new B-Machine. Oh, we're so proud of you, son. Ah, come on. I didn't think the bottom could actually block me from going up until that exact try. I'm gonna die again. There's, like, no way. Because I think I need to hit him, like, two more times. No way. Yes way. Yes way, because I am Tembo. I didn't want to stay down there, because if I stay right there, it's going to hit me with the wave. Oh, no. We got one more try at this. Well, it's a boss stage, though. I can... I'm basically starting from the same place anyway, so I guess the lives don't really matter here. Everything's made up and the lives don't matter. Oh, I was able to skip over the cutscene that was, like, another half a second long anyway. At least it doesn't use a whole bunch of missiles right at the beginning. Alright, taking him out fast now. But he gets rid of the platform so that I don't, like, overkill him. That's such a, like, DM thing to do. Like, you're taking out my boss too fast, I have to make some kind of weird thing that you can't do with that fast. Alright, missiles... And at least the missiles, like, all explode whenever I do a hit to the B. That's good. I guess because it has, like, a targeting system and a, like, remote detonation system that goes off when I hit the B. I guess that's the only explanation I could think of. Uh. Bam. Oh, okay, we're at full health. We're at four hits and full health. Was that four hits? I wasn't actually counting. I think it was. It feels like four hits. Come on, you got nothing. You got nothing, Bebot. Okay. You got that stupid wind edge move. Good thing plants always grow in here. They really gotta, like, get some pesticides or something and kill those, because otherwise this boss would be unbeatable for old Tembo. Nah, Tembo would find a way. He would... He would pound the ground and bring down girders. Yeah, about time. And that's my 500. It's just gonna give me 500 dead phantoms. It takes 500 to operate that, or um, the resources for them to build that was about as much as 500 man hours or something, the work of 500 men. Yeah, getting that thumbs up from Big Mustache Man. Aw, <laughs> yay! I like his little bird friend, too. I haven't really been paying attention to it, but he shows up on all the save points. He always lands after I hit a save- after I hit a checkpoint. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, so thank you for joining me for some more Tembo. Glad to be back in the thick of it. Um, 
Is this the last world here? Is this gonna be the end of the game? I think so. Great, you destroyed the second Phantom Dome. Now onwards to the next one. It's located in the theme park Zappo Land, which it looks like Zappo Land takes up roughly 25% of the entire island, so I don't know, I guess they're banking on the tourism. I don't like the look of that clown, but we gotta head there and hopefully get up to 4,000 phantoms along the way before we hit the last area. So I'm the Comic Foil, and next time, do we get to smash that clown? I hope we get to smash it. It's got a weird Z-tooth. What's, wh what's up with that? That's a terrible mascot. Not like Tembo. Tembo's a great mascot. We need more Tembo games.